Okay, what? whatever is on the counter is making me sick just looking at it. Dustin's really, really excited. He cannot wait so for what excited. we're about to see. We're gonna see you guys pretty much how bad apartments can get when we, before they're renovated. And we're gonna give you guys a renovation plan and give you guys a few dollar, uh, how to make your dollars go the furthest when you renovate an apartment. So uh, reasonable investments you can make to make something really pop. So we're gonna show you an unrenovated apartment. And I sure wish there was like a scratch and sniff on your computer screen that you guys could scratch to smell what we're about to smell in here. It's you lovely. You come smell it with us. And then we're gonna show you guys a renovated apartment. We'll go through some dollars with you. So check it out. Come on. All right, Justin, hold your breath. Yeah. So this is a two bedroom, one and a half bath apartment. And as you can see, there's been some, uh, this this one, had the, the lingo here is this unit has not been trashed out. What that means is the maintenance team or whoever has not gone and removed other personal possessions the tenant left behind. The uh, lovely Mardi Gras beads they had that uh, they graced their hallway going upstairs and uh, all their personal possessions and dog toys and everything like that. This guys is a perfect example of what happens when you let a tenant have an animal and you've got a lot of carpet. Okay, uh, carpet is an absorber of uh, smell and it's an absorber of liquids. You know, you know what liquids I'm talking about, right, Justin? I can right. smell them. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, it, as you know, like my least favorite flooring, like it, it's mm -hmm. carpet is down there with like finishing a floor with nails that stick up like that <laughs> yeah. for the tenant to walk on, right? It's my least favorite flooring. It's pretty terrible. Anywhere. Yeah. Except for in a bedroom. Yep. Right, because people yep. like that cush of carpet yeah, in a bedroom. Yeah. This unit's full of carpet and it was full of animals. And so those two things bring a lovely odor that you could only describe and write down. And that's why we're here, because yeah. we're going to buy this property and take all the units that look like this and we're going to make them into something that looks a lot better. And that's really the crux of our value add plan, right? We can take care of exteriors mm -hmm. and things outside but it's really about the tenant experience. This is a pretty gross unit. That's really why we're here. We're here to take these units from the smelly, old, beat up units, and we're gonna make them really nice. And that is the crux of our value add. We're gonna degrossify. 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 TM, we're gonna trademark yeah, that Yeah, right, not bad. <laughs> um, but by coming in The degrossa group. The <laughs> Wow, we got a comedian over here. Yeah. So, uh, if we can, if we can come in, obviously remove the smells, put in better flooring, upgrade this entire unit. Now something that was getting one rent previously, we're going to be able to increase by 10, 20, 30% of those rents mm -hmm. because we're coming in and putting money in all the right places. Now we're not spending frivolously. We're going to put money that goes a long way. Um, so we might take this kitchen, mm -hmm. for example, we'll probably put in new appliances, but we'll probably also keep the cabinets. We probably don't have to replace those, but we will paint them and we'll put some new mm -hmm. hardware on to really clean them up, make them look a little bit nicer. So we're going to take care of the flooring, of course, throughout this entire unit. Well, here's, and, and before we get it, I just want to point something out here, right? This unit, certainly, I mean, there's not a landlord out there. There, well, there probably are landlords out there, but it's not you guys that would <laughs> lease this apartment in this condition. Right. So any landlord would have to make some improvements. Now, some landlord might try and get away with shampooing these sanctified carpets out, but likely uh, a landlord that's going to pinch pennies is gonna go put new carpet down because that's gonna be the most yep. affordable thing to do. Yep. Carpet is affordable, yep. I hate it. I wanna light it all on fire. But it is not. It is. It is not, uh, not. Not my favorite floor covering, as you guys know. But it is by far the most affordable. That's right. Okay. Landlord may just go and put new carpet. Maybe coat of paint on the walls. Maybe just try and wipe things down, patch the holes, wipe the surfaces. And you could spend maybe less than a thousand dollars turning this apartment around and getting it leasable. We're going to spend several thousand dollars to bring this unit to the next to the next level. Probably six or seven thousand right. dollars actually. New floors, yeah. new kitchens. Uh, we're going to show you guys a renovated apartment that's to this current landlord standard, not to Rosa standard, but it's to this current landlord standard. It certainly looks a little bit better than this. But we can we'll even show you guys some things we're going to do beyond that. Uh, beyond on that right now. You can keep things status quo, right? Which would be maybe shampoo, maybe replace carpets, coat of paint, clean. That might be good enough. And some would call that a classic apartment or whatever. Right, right. And, but you're going to achieve the same rents you were before. They can get a little, a few more dollars in rent if they do some better improvements, right? Yep. So there's a return on investment for improving places like this and for making it a little bit better. We always start with the business plan is to come in and put the money in. And yeah, instead of a thousand dollars, it's gonna cost six or $7,000. But we're going to elevate up and that only is yeah we're going to get better rents but we're going to attract a different type of tenant 
to this property as well. Mm -hmm. Someone that qualifies for that higher rent that is going to love this townhome style unit, mm -hmm. but would not love to live in a unit that's got this carpet and, and the smells and the old walls that haven't been painted in forever. So by elevating the unit, it's not just a rent play, but an overall community play and bringing in the right people to this community that are gonna make everyone else uh, grow as well. And you wanna create this into a space the tenants are happy to pay you market rate uh, a few more dollars for something that's above standard that I'm proud of, that they'd be proud of too to call them. Absolutely. So kitchens, as we said, resurfacing, perhaps replacement or resurf we love resurfacing cabinets, not replacing them. So that's a, that's a nice way of saying, taking the doors off, painting them, painting the boxes, uh, either putting new doors or repla or putting the doors back on with a coat of paint. Countertops, as Justin said, appliances, flooring here, paint on the walls and new light fixtures. For an example, if this unit were renting for $600 right now, yep. which here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is possible for a two bedroom, one bath, unrenovated townhome, right? So we invest $6,000, we get $200 back so we can rent it for 800 uh, to a qualified tenant. So then we're getting 2,400 per year in additional, in additional okay. revenue. Mm -hmm. So that justifies a $6,000 investment. That's, that's like 40% of your money Absolutely. back every year. Absolutely. And that all goes right to the bottom line. And eventually you can take that increased bottom line and refinance the property, return some of your investors investment, or just enjoy the additional cash flow if you guys own something smaller that you're not going to be able to refi out of or anything like that. But still, it all goes right to the bottom line. The return on investment you get on interior unit renovations is off the charts. If the market will bear additional rent prices to go that $200 for $6,000, that's a great ratio. Absolutely. Do that all day long. And that's right? one reason we love this market is because mm -hmm. we're already doing that across town. We're seeing those huge rent increases. So we know that it'll work. We know there's demand for the higher priced units here. You got to know so your market. We come in, we do the renovation. We Every day of the week, we'll get those new rents. No you got to know your market, guys. So don't be trying this in a market that you haven't researched. But it's okay to go shop, secret shop apartments, go look Absolutely. at other landlords' units, see what they're doing for their renovations and what kind of rent bumps they're getting. Let's show you guys a renovated apartment because I'm about done with the smell of meter in here. You? I can't handle it yeah. anymore. We got to go. Here we are in a renovated apartment, right? Uh, this is $6,000 later. <laughs> here we are. Um, so you've got done flooring, yep. right? Yep. Um, I've got um, uh, light fixtures, right? And I, I've got a done kitchen. This is not, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Not the roast standard, right? Right. We'll right. talk about what we would do, and I'm not sure if this current owner spent six thousand dollars, but I'll show you. You know, just I'm thinking they probably spent two. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe. Yeah, I think. You're not I think fan. half of that went to the floor. <laughs> and then they painted, and then they did the lights. It's really well. Maybe the counters. They too. might have coated those countertops. Yeah, they, if they did the coat counters, or maybe twenty five hundred. They're, they're doing a lighter lift here. We're going to put probably a little bit more in because we're going to attract um, another level of tenant here. This unit does not smell like that other one. The flooring, uh, just the sheet vinyl flooring, actually goes a really long way. And they're using the nice sheet vinyl. It's got a little bit of texture to it. It's not like your grandma's sheet vinyl flooring that might be in her bathroom or whatever. Like this is a nice quality product that we've actually seen in a lot of renovated units. We'll probably leave that here. Um, they put new carpet on the steps. The lighting is a big, big thing as well. So they've done ceiling fans here. They've done the LED lighting in the kitchen. So it makes it really nice and bright and just feels cleaner and fresher here. So I think they've done a nice job. Yeah. I think we would take it would one you step further. What would you do? What would I do? What, what's, okay. what's your plan for so, these to give you guys DeRosa standard, how we're gonna achieve? Because they're not getting those two hundred dollar rent bumps. Right. We have data the market will do a two hundred dollar rent yeah. bump off of these renovated yeah. units. So we got to go to DeRosa standard to get those two hundred dollar rent bumps. It's nothing groundbreaking. You know, there's there's a lot of little things that we can do here. Number one, we have like these weird doors going into the kitchen. We're going to take those down. There's no reason to have that door. We're going to open this concept up a little bit. We have uh, the counters. I even though they coated the counters here, they didn't do a very good job. We have a a much better countertop coat. I don't know if they're using a different vendor, they're just older. So we want to reseal those countertops, resurface them, make them look really nice. Um, new appliance set for sure. And we pay pretty much the same for a stainless or white or black. We'll probably put stainless steel appliances in here just given the level of tenant we're trying to att attract. The cabinet doors are something that we may not have to fix. We don't have to replace them. Um, they certainly, you know, in here, they got a coat of paint. We would definitely paint them, but the hardware makes a big difference. The mm -hmm. cabinet, you have these white knobs here that are painted over a few times. Get something shiny, that shiny nickel, right? Mm -hmm. Satin nickel maybe. 
Uh, that looks really, really nice. We would do all the doorknobs and all the, the knobs in the kitchens and the bathrooms just to make them all consistent. Mm -hmm. It just brings that level of attraction when you walk in, you see the shininess and you, you don't really care if the cabinets aren't painted or they're the older cabinets. Just a little bit of shine goes a long way and it makes a big difference. And stainless steel appliances are not that much more. We these pay are like white, 10 or 20 dollars difference. These are white finished appliances. It's very short sighted to not go for better appliances in your renovated okay. units. It's come down so much, it's just not even worth talking about yeah. to save the extra dollars to go for the white finish appliances. Uh, we do black finish appliances in some apartments and stainless in other apartments. Tell me about upstairs, what would you do in the bathroom? Yeah, the bathroom's, bathrooms gonna be the next big thing, right? A lot, so, a lot of money you can get from rents and bathrooms, because like I said, kitchens and bathrooms, it's true on fix and flips, it's also true on rentals. So what are you doing upstairs? That's, what we, that's really what our tenant base is excited about, kitchens and bathrooms. Yep. And the bathroom is not that hard. What we do in our bathrooms, I think the most important thing we do in the bathrooms is the light. Mm -hmm. We always replace the light over the mirror because you get mm -hmm. a nice big bright one of those that's got four or five little spotlights with the LED. That brightens the whole yeah. room up and makes a huge difference. The next thing is gonna be the vanity. Okay, we can either paint the vanity, same as the kitchen, or maybe okay. we'll replace the vanity. They're not too expensive. So we'll give a, a case by case, depending on if there's water damage and how old it looks. Certainly we can even reseal the top uh, and resurface the top, just the way we do the kitchens mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and then finally, we're gonna put in new like towel bar holders, right? Again, a little bit of shine, a little bit of niceness throughout the units goes a long way. And you've got that lovely tile that's like, a, I believe it's like a doo-doo you know, like yellow. Brown oh, in the, in the shower, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So what do we do with the shower tile? And Very stuff? easy. It's actually the same vendor that does the kitchen countertops is gonna do the bathroom tile as well, the shower tile. And they come in, they put a nice resurface over that. It's gonna last a lot longer yeah. now. It's gonna get any leaks out of there. So it's gonna be of quality looking unit, a quality looking bathroom yeah. that only costs us a fraction of the cost if we replace all that time. I love those rounded shower bars that, that we end up doing. Oh yes, absolutely. Couple, literally, a couple dollars, 15, yeah. 20 bucks more, but it makes that shower feel bigger and it makes it feel a bit like a luxury, like, like a painted shower box yeah. with that rounded bar off the charts. It's like brand new. And it's, like, oh, it's great, I love that. Yep. Right. yep, so it's all about that tenant experience. They're standing there, they're looking in the new mirror, they got these big bright lights on them, they've got the nice countertop in front of them, right? And then they turn and the shower's all done nicely. Like, that just brings another level. They feel like they're at home and they feel much better about the unit. You go the extra mile, right? Absolutely. Good. There's a list here of some reasonable investments you guys can make and you're renovating small uh, apartment complexes units or large apartment complexes like this. Whatever it is, there are renovation plans you can do. You develop those, you do them over and over and over again, and you build an equation on, okay, I'm gonna invest this, and it's gonna yield this, and rent increases, and you just do it over and over again, and that's that's like interior value add 101. It's, it's a great journey in elevating an apartment complex, elevating people's quality of living, and elevating the investor returns for those investors. Yes. Justin, thanks for spending some time with us. Absolutely. I am glad we're out of the smell box down the road, <laughs> and I'm smelling fresh, fresh paint much it's better than smell before <laughs> we'll close it out here thanks for watching guys and have a great great profitable week. week that where that over there he shut that front door that over there. Over there. Let's try the picture oh i don't know what it is but <laughs> how much time i look at it, i just feel very sick <laughs> right, then, so the re one of the things that no okay let me start again <laughs> listen even though it smells and yeah cool have a great and profitable week oh my God. Okay. <laughs>